Hey there, let's do some eyeshadow. I know that it's late in the day. I got Dave waiting for me, so we need to do an eye look fast. So let's pick an eye color. Let's do this. So, eye color, let's pick one. 25 colors, overwhelming, right? How do you choose? How do you select? Where do you begin? So, no, we're not gonna do that. Let's pick one from my favorite palette. I love this palette. I use this palette all the time. Palette six, love it. Still kind of a little overwhelming. No, not gonna do this. Not gonna use this. We're gonna make it super easy like i said i got dave waiting for me he is just he's pacing down in the living room he might even be out in the driveway in the car by now so we're gonna use this palette i love this palette i do not care that i have mature eyes mature eyes are never too old for a little metallic we're actually going to use this coppery color in the middle that's it one color don't get overwhelmed it's not too much it's not too hard we can do this but first we got some steps we got to do first prime got to prime your eyes why do you use primer prime your eyes because it keeps your eyeshadow in place all day long keeps it looking as beautiful i know it's the afternoon and i'm heading out now but if you were going to work and you were doing your makeup at, you know, six o'clock in the morning, it keeps your makeup looking as beautiful at six o'clock at night as it does at six o'clock in the morning. And for me and my lovely oily skin, and you all know I love my oily skin. I talk about it, talk about it all the time. So for me and my oily skin, I need primer to keep my eyeshadow from getting cakey like in the crease of my eyes so you definitely need to prime your shadow to keep your eyeshadow looking beautiful hey Shelly all day long so that's step number one prime then we're gonna do a little different step we are going to do a little setting powder on our eyes as well I'm going to just pat over what I just did. Why am I going to do that? It's a lot of steps, Amy. You said this is going to be quick and easy. It is quick and easy. I am using a setting powder over my primer so that when I go to blend out my eyeshadow, it blends beautifully. Instead of just getting, you know, stuck like in the primer, if that makes sense. It's a horrible word. It didn't sound very well. It didn't sound very great. But trust me when I say that you just want to put a light coat of powder over your primer, you will thank me because it will make your shadow blendable. It will blend a lot better. Okay, see, easy. Two steps we've done so far, easy peasy. Now we're going to go in and we're going to put on this beautiful copper color. That's it. One eyeshadow color. Don't get overwhelmed. Super super easy i'm taking a cream shadow brush and i'm going to just lightly pat on the shadow on my eye that's it right on the lid and because i have hooded eyes um, i'm going to go up a little bit into the crease just a little bit so like almost up to um the bone area if you don't have hooded eyes you might not need to go up that high but because i don't have very much real estate that you're gonna see when my eyes are open with my eyeshadow i am gonna take my eyeshadow up a little bit higher and we're just kind of patting this on and then we're going to wipe off whatever little specks just happened to fall on my skin. That's it. 
that's it. See, one color. And I brought some Q-tips up. So, ooh, got a little sparkle. Then we're gonna take a blending brush and we're gonna just blend out and smooth out the edges. I will fix this coppery color that got on my cheek. This is why I always do my eyes first. I always do my eyes before my foundation because I will be able to fix this and blend this out with my foundation. In this case, I will be doing BB cream because BB cream is quick and easy. It's just a tinted moisturizer. And like I said, I've got Dave already probably pacing out in the driveway for me. So I wanna make it a quick, easy step. So I'll put on my BB cream and it will totally hide this little area. So quick, easy step. See, one color of eyeshadow and I've got a glorious, beautiful, coppery tone on my lid. And then we're gonna do a little bit of eyeliner. I have a liquid eyeliner. Don't be afraid of liquid eyeliner either. Maybe you think, oh, I can't, I don't have a steady hand. I can't draw a straight line. I don't either. I can't do a straight line either very well. I got a little hack for you. We are going to basically stamp it on. I'm gonna hold the brush at an angle and we're going to kind of stamp it on. So hold it at an angle. And for me again, with my hooded eyes, I want as close to my eyelash line as I can get. So I'm gonna get real close to my eyelashes and I'm going to just stamp and pat this liner as close as I can. I don't know if you can tell what I'm doing, but I am just going along my lashes. And now I have a beautiful, I'll try to get close, a beautiful blue color. Why did I pick blue? I don't know. I just, I grabbed the blue eyeliner instead of the black, just to be different. So that's what I did. So instead of drawing a straight line, which may or may not be straight when I'm done, I just took the brush at an angle and I just stamped a straight line. It was much easier. So a quick little hack for you to do. So I don't know, maybe you'll be able to tell on this eye better. So I kind of started at the center, worked my way out, and then I went in. There we go. Eyeliner, done. Last step, mascara. I'll do my BB cream and I'm done before mascara. Gotta prime your lashes. We prime our lashes for the same reason you put mousse in your hair. Mousse in your hair adds volume, it adds thickness, it adds density. That is what priming your lashes does. So we're gonna add a little primer to our lashes. So now you can see a little bit of white on my lashes. So there we go. I just moosed up my lashes. Add a little primer to both sides. And for me personally, I don't like my primer to be completely, um, to be completely dry when I put on my mascara. So I will now go ahead, I will do my other eye, um, my original eye with my mascara, because I like it to be a little bit tacky still. Like I don't let it completely dry is the point I was making. Like I won't wait, you know, 30 seconds to a minute or whatever for it to completely dry. And I'm using our 4D mascara. I'm a big fan of the 4D. Maybe you're a big fan of Twisted. Maybe you don't know what I'm talking about. I can hook you up. It is our lash um, day deal going on still. So I can hook you up with some of our lash products. And then you also get a free lash curler. I use a lash curler, not all the time, but sometimes. Maybe you remember your mom using one every day back in the day. 
I am training myself to keep my mouth closed when I put on mascara because nobody wants to see my mouth hanging wide open when I put on mascara. It's a total reflex thing. You know, when you put on your mascara, your mouth hangs wide open. It's a total reflex. We all do it, but I am training myself not to have my mouth hanging wide open. So there we go. See, I am doing quick, easy, one eyeshadow, quick, easy um, eyeliner, mascara. I'll put on some BB cream to kind of fix what I, I th flew on my face in my, my haste to hurry, and we're done. I'll do my bottom lashes real quick, and there we go. See, I almost had my mouth hanging wide open, didn't I? Totally training myself to not do that. It's hard. Struggles. So there we go. I am done. See, don't be scared. First of all, don't be scared when you see a palette with six colors. Nobody says you have to use all six colors. And don't be scared when you have mature eyes and you see some metallics because girl, you can totally rock the metallics. There we go. I am proof. We are doing it. So now, like I said, I'm going to touch up my face with some BB cream, hide the little flecks that I flew on, and I am off. You guys have a great Sunday night, and I will see you next time. Bye.